Hello, statistics and pre-calculus. A quick review of binomial probability. There is one binomial probability question on the 2020 exam, so be ready for that. Binomial probability, first off, you have to have a binomial situation. And so what it looks like, there are exactly two outcomes. You usually call them success and failure. You shoot a free throw, either it goes in or it doesn't. You flip a coin, either it's heads or it's not. You roll a die, either it's a five or it's not. So only two possibilities. Uh, and the probability of that success is P in the equation. You also have a fixed number of trials. So N is the number of times that you're going to do something. You're going to flip 50 coins, or you're going to shoot 10 free throws, or you're going to do something like that. And each trial is independent of the others. Each coin flip uh, is independent of what coin flips happened before, and each free throw is independent of the previous free throws. Three parts to the equation for the probability of getting R successes. The first part is how many ways can it happen? That's uh, N choose R, the number of times, number of trials, choose the number of successes. The second part is the probability that it happens those many times. So the probability that you made a free throw, say 70%, five times, 0.70 to the fifth power. If you make it 70% of the time, then you also miss it 30% of the time. So if you miss it 30% of the time, you also need the probability that it doesn't happen so many times. So we'll put those pieces together. A quick review with a simple one, flipping coins. This is your distribution from when you flipped four coins. There were 16 possible outcomes, two choices for the first coin, two choices for the second coin, two choices for the third coin, and two choices for the fourth coin. Two to the fourth is 16, and there you have them. Um, let's do the binomial probability. The first one, how many ways can you get zero heads? Well, that's four, choose zero. And the probability that you get zero heads. The probability of head is a half, and that happens zero times. And if you got zero heads, that means you got four tails. And the probability of a tail is also one half. So when we put these together, four choose zero is one. One half to the zero power is also one. And one half to the fourth power is one over 16. For a grand total of one times one times one over 16 is one over 16. On the other hand, one head four choose one you want heads to come up one time and you want tails to come up therefore three times so one half to the first for heads one half to the third for tails four choose one is four there's four different possible ways that you could get one head out of four coins one half to the first is one half and one half to the third is one eighth for a grand total of 4 over 16, which again matches what you saw before. That's all good. If you want to pause for a second and try one of these others for yourself, you can. And here are what they should get as you come out your answers. 1 16th, 4 16th, 1 6 16th, 4 16th, and 1 16th, the same distribution as you had from the actual making a list version. If you want 10 coins, you can try a couple tens, pause it, try uh, possibilities of 10 coins, and here are some answers that you can look at. And again, it comes out symmetric. The reason this one comes out symmetric is that the coin flips are 50-50. The chance of success, or a head, is exactly the same as the chance of failure, or tails. So those being exactly the same, means it comes out symmetric. Here's an example that's not the same. So binomial probability, LeBron shooting free throws, making eight free throws. Here's the information. He's taking eight free throws. That's the first thing we know. And so we'll use that. The probability that he does it, that he makes it, is 74%. So P is 0.74. Therefore, the probability that he misses it is 0.26. If he makes 24% of his free throws, that means he misses 26% of his free throws. So 74% make, 26% miss. Let's try making five free throws. So eight free throws, choose which five he's going to make. Then he's got to make five of them. That was 0.74% chance that he makes one, and that happens five times. 
there's a 0.26 cent chance that he misses it. That happens three times. These are all just straight up numbers. We are off to the calculator. Combinations were under menu probability. So combinations, eight free throws makes five of them. Multiplied by 0.74, and that has to happen five times. Multiplied by 0.26, the 26% chance that he misses it, and the miss is going to happen three times. Everything here is a number, it's all in one piece, and you get 0.218. So there's about a 21.8% chance that he makes five out of the eight free throws, which seems pretty reasonable. He makes generally three quarters of them, so five is pretty darn close to what you would expect. If you want to try a different piece of running these, pause the video now, try a different one. And here are the answers that you would come up with. As you would expect, if he makes about three quarters of his free throws, there's almost no chance that he would make only zero or one or even two. But we've got the 21% chance that he makes five, a 31% chance that he would make six, and a 25% chance he'd make seven out of his eight free throws. Most of it is in here. You notice this is not symmetric, and when we draw the graph, it comes out very much not symmetric. It's not in the middle at four like you would expect. Most of it is around six. So there we go. So there's your binomial probability. Three parts to it, remember. How many ways can it happen? That's a combination. The chance that it happens so many times, and then the chance that it doesn't happen the rest of the time. Those are the pieces that you need. Enjoy, have fun, enjoy studying, and